Hey everybody, Paul here. Welcome to a very special episode of tonight's double feature. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope everybody is having a good holiday season out there. Um, tonight on the show, we are going to do a Thanksgiving uh, horror babe double feature, um, which I'm pretty excited about. I'm drinking a... Check that out. I'm drinking a Marai. Marai? Marai? I think that's how you say it. Um, from Triptych Brewing Company. And I want to give a special shout out to my longtime friend, Krista, pictured here. Um, I said, Krista, you know, I'd love to give you a shout out on the show for picking up this beer for me from Tri Triptych Brewery in Champaign. And she said, yeah, go ahead and give me a shout out, but uh, make sure you use a hot picture of me. So Krista, I hope this is to your liking. It's certainly to my liking, you know. Um, so th thank you for the beer. It's quite tasty. Uh, she picked up a whole pack, a four pack of these for me. So thank you very much for that. Happy Thanksgiving. And, um, Let's get into these movies. I, I, these are two movies that I saw recently. Um, I was looking for more Thanksgiving themed movies so that I could do an episode of tonight's double feature. By the way, I don't have, uh, I don't own either of these movies. So we're going to be showing some photos, uh, on this episode. Normally I'll, hold up a DVD or hold up a Blu-ray. I don't own either of these movies yet. We'll see what happens. Up first is a movie called Christy. Not Krista, but Christy. It's going to get more confusing as the episode goes on. But this is a movie that came out in 2014. And uh, I watched it recently on Tubi. And this is a movie that is all about a college student who has made the decision to remain in her dorm over the Thanksgiving holiday. She's not going home or anything like everybody else is. So she's essentially by herself in her dorm room for Thanksgiving, which sounds fine, but unfortunately there are some crazy people who um, uh, are intent on making sure that her uh, Thanksgiving is not very nice. I say her, and you would assume by the title of the movie that the main character's name is Christy. It is not. It's actually Justine. And these uh, psycho people who are terrorizing her in her college dorm room, uh, all throughout the dorm, really, um, think that her name is Christy. Um, so it's this weird kind of cult thing. And to be honest, I didn't quite understand what it was that they, like, why they were so mad at this girl. They think that her name's Christy, but other than that, why are you trying to kill Christy? I mean, even if it's not the right girl. So, um... I don't know. There was there were some there were definitely some moments that got me in terms of uh the scare, the scare factor. I definitely jumped a couple times. So there's definitely some uh solid, you know, horror moments in this movie. Um the main actor, I meant to look her up. I meant to get her name, but the main actor who plays uh, Justine, not Christy, and not Krista, but Justine. She, um, she's very good in the role. Uh, the atmosphere is nice for, for a lot of it. So I would say it's worth a watch. However, I did feel that, um, there were kind of some cliche moments and sort of some some well-worn uh territory with some of the stuff that happens 
throughout this movie. You know, it's a sla it's sort of like a slasher thriller. And so uh, there are some decisions that are made by not just Justine, but some of the other characters in the movie where it's one of those things where you're like, what are you doing? Why would you do that? You know, um, it's a, it can be a little frustrating at times. But like I said, I do think it's worth checking out, especially because it's free right now on Tubi. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, and also, there's just not that much Thanksgiving horror out there. You got Thanksgiving, you got Blood Rage. Those are both great. And so this is why I was kind of searching for more Thanksgiving uh, horror movies. There, there isn't really a, a whole lot of Thanksgiving element to the film, Christy. Um, at one point, she goes to the gas station and picks up like a Mountain Dew. So I don't know if like uh, if you if you drink Mountain Dew during Thanksgiving, maybe you identify with that. And then she picks up like some pie or something like that for one of the security guards. But other than that, there's no real festive elements to the film, which is fine. It's not really it's not really about Thanksgiving. It just happens the the uh th the things that happen in the movie happen to take place on thanksgiving so that is movie number one um christy from 2014 and i wanted to point out the year that it came out because oddly enough our second film um is a thanksgiving horror movie that came out the following year in 2015 and it is called Krisha, not Krista, and not Christy, but Krisha. Or in the movie, they kind of say Krisha, um, which I was not expecting, but I believe that it, uh, that the char the main character in the film, whose name is actually what you think it would be, kind of, uh, I think they they mostly pronounce it Krisha, which is a little, I'm used to saying Krisha. I, you know, I have known a few Krishas in my life. But um, this movie, unlike Christie, where there are some kind of cliche elements and some well worn territory, this movie, Krisha or Krisha, was, I don't, I don't know where to start. It uh, kind of blew me away. This is a movie that um, I had heard about for a while. I wanted to I wanted to check it out. Uh, finally got around to it. I watched it on Canopy, by the way. If you go to your local library, you can uh, get a library card and then uh, sign up for Canopy, which is a streaming service, and watch uh, Krisha for free on there, which is what I did. But this is a movie where I thought, okay, uh, there's it's a horror movie, uh, from what I understand. So there's going to be, you know, there's gonna there's gonna be a monster, or there's going to be a demon, or something like that. No, this was completely unlike anything I was expecting. In a very, I don't want to say delightful because there's some horrible things that happen in this movie, but in a very surprising way. And this is a movie that is, was just um, extremely well done. Um, and I meant to look up the name of the filmmaker before I started, and I didn't do it. So I apologize to the director, who is also an actor in the film. But this movie is all about... Hold on, I need a pull of this uh, Mariah. This movie is all about going home for uh, the holidays and interacting with your family when there's um, a lot of history and a lot of tension and a lot of trauma um, is really what it comes down to. And Krisha, who, by the way, is uh, brilliantly portrayed by um, her name is Krisha Fairchild. 
Um, and the reason I know that is because I was talking about this movie on Twitter the other night, and I didn't tag her or anything, but she happened to see the conversation and liked one of my tweets. So shout out to Krisha, if I'm saying that right, for an absolutely just jaw-dropping performance in this film. The whole cast is great. All of the acting is is really good. It feels very real. It feels very organic. It feels like the director ha was probably allowing the actors to do a lot of improv because it really feels like a um, authentic family gathering, you know, with, with um, everybody coming together and trying to get along despite some uh, bad things that have happened in everybody's past. Um, so I don't know if I would, you know, necessarily... It's not a horror movie in the sense of, like I said, there's no, there, there's no supernatural element to it or anything like that. But you don't need, you obviously don't need that to have a, a well-made, effective horror movie, which really this absolutely is. Cannot recommend it enough. Um, I feel like I'm going to be picking this one up on Blu-ray if I can find it out there somewhere because... And I said in the tweet, I was not prepared for this movie. Like, it is a gut punch. So if you're not in the mood for something that is uh, serious and, you know, kind of hard to take in spots, it's very, uh, it's serious business. But it's done so well, I just, I can't say enough good things about it. So there you have it. Uh, my double feature for um, Thanksgiving Horror Babes. And a shout out to Christy, a shout out to Krisha, and a shout out to Krista. Uh, I hope all of you have slash had a happy Thanksgiving. I say that because I know that this episode is actually coming out the day after Thanksgiving. But nonetheless, I hope uh, that everybody has uh, a great holiday season. Christmas is going to be coming up. I think uh, we're going to do, uh, for tonight's double feature, we're going to do a, a Christmas-themed episode next month. So stay tuned for that. Hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Look at all the cute little kittens on this can. They're just all having a great time.